All right, once again, I was not recording. Um, I just like to play this game a little bit more casually. I don't really like... I, I enjoy streaming it, but, you know, it's not always a stream day. Um, sometimes I just like kicking back, watching like a Netflix show or something in the background while playing this game. Um, in this case, I was watching another person play Risk Rain while I played Risk Rain, because, you know, that's how we do it. But anyways, um, this run is fucking absurd. We... So we started off the run with 10 really bad greens. We had exactly 10. And I was just like, you know what? Let's go to the shop and hope I can just double down on something. And dear lord, we doubled down on 57 Leaf Clovers. Then the game gave us two alien heads. Well, one alien head, and then we got the second one later. But whatever. Then we went to the shop a second time. You notice I have zero fucking greens. The reason I have zero fucking greens is because all my greens were like squid polyps and shit like that. So I just ended up turning all of my greens into reds, and my red ended up being a uh, hammer. And then after we got the hammer, the game decided, you know what, you need two hammers, because you need two of all your items. That's just a quick damage check for me to see how much damage I did. Not as high as I would hope it to be, to be honest. But yeah, either way, we just have doubles of all of our items. Um... And we're pretty strong because of uh, 57 Leaf Clover makes pretty much any build strong. Especially when we have two of them. Uh, this is going to make our arguably not much to proc, but our glasses, our sticky bombs, and our missile launchers hit pretty often. Like, they each have three rolls to uh, hit. So the crit, even though I only have like 46% crit right now, I have three chances to roll that 46. So I'm going to get it really often. Um, sticky bombs are a 10% chance, and then the missiles are a 10% chance. Aside from that, I don't really have any on hit, or I don't really have any like chances to hit anything. So it's really just those three. Um, the hammer doesn't really, the hammer doesn't really do much, if I'm being honest. Alien Ed helps a lot. Like, this is a 4 second cooldown now instead of a 6 second cooldown. So that helps a lot. I should be... Oh, we also grabbed a uh, ban or jumping thing. The jumping thing was from the Void. We did the Void this run. Um, Dio's was from a random chest. I forgot I even had Dio's. Holy shit, I have Dio's. And are we going to end up with even more? That's a no. Wax Quail, no thanks. Tax Speed Headdress, no thanks. I really love Sacrificial Daggers, it just doesn't do anything against this boss unless you have the uh, Cursed Doll. Okay, our shop's kind of worthless. None of this stuff affects the boss, so... We're out of there. Uh, I didn't mean to go that high. It's kind of hard to control my jumps with uh, the head stompers. But it was still worth picking up because um, vertical height against the King of Nothing is very important. Speaking of the King of Nothing, we're here at 40 minutes, which is pretty late. We're here pretty late. We're like 10 minutes late, if I'm being honest. Yeah, you can see our crit hitting. Also, our missiles. Heard our sticky bombs there. Just dodge his attacks and keep on using the ranged gameplay. That's how we play this. That did hit me, Jesus. I thought for sure that hit me. Oop, no thanks, sir. Again, no thanks, sir. I'm missing all my attacks on him. Oh, 
Oh, he fucking leapt. He wanted my ass there. Do we have any source of bleed? No, no bleed. Eh, this build would have been really good with the bleed. So I shifted out of there. Okay. This is where things get interesting. It's kind of hard for me to deal with these air units. I say that and the air unit just exploded. But it's kind of hard for me to deal with the air units. I'm being serious about that. If I learned anything from my last run as Merc, I just play like a bitch and let these air units walk into me. Like right there, I don't even go for it. I just let him come to me. They have the flying advantage, so I need to play the I can wait forever advantage. Yeah, I thought that should be. Oh, Jesus, that's what I get for walking out. Okay, so we're going to hide behind this pillar and let them come to us, or just let that happen. Pretty sure that kills it. Yep. Oh, that guy came speed around the corner ready to blast. Okay, now we play even more like a bitch, because if we get tapped by the Whirly Durly, we die. This is going to be a very long combat phase, because I can't afford to let him hit me with a Whirly Durly. Where is he? We just keep playing this very patient gameplay and we'll win. As long as we play this patient gameplay and don't get hit by the Whirly Durly, we should be fine. Getting hit by the Whirly Durly is a very real possibility though. I'm not even going to poke my head out. Yeah, here it comes. Okay, and now he launches himself up this ramp. Takes a shit ton of fall damage and I hit him with that. Probably need to start working on the ads a little bit. Then again, it's really just about killing the King of Nothing as fast as possible so you don't get hit by the Whirly Durly. Speaking of Whirly Durly, he might be doing it here. Yep. Okay, now he launches himself upwards. He takes some fall damage and I get to hit him with an R. Or no, I don't. He just takes the fall damage. I 
Uh, I missed. It's really hard to hit. Mithrix is very fast. He might be doing the whirly Durly again. Yep, there it is. Almost got hit by that. Almost got hit by that. And he takes fall damage. Very methodical, very slow. That is how we are going to play this. The number of adds is getting kind of absurd, but it doesn't matter too much. As long as Mithrix isn't killing me, I'm fine. Speaking of Mithrix... No whirly Durly this time. Oh, there it is. I didn't get hit by that, how? I'm really close to him now, so it's much easier to get hit by the Whirly Durly. We didn't, though. I thought I did. He's almost down, if I can just see him. It's easier said than done, however. Do I have to survive another whirly Durly? Yes. Okay, last stage. He takes all my items, I'm just gonna go in and let him. Got fresh meat back. One of my most useless items. Now I do fucking nothing to him until I get my medkits back, because he's just going to heal back all of my damage. And I'm playing up here because if he ever summons his orbs, I just fucking die. I'm a melee character, so playing down there when he has those orbs is absurdly dumb. I'm just going to do this. Very slow, very patient, very methodical, but it wins... Uh, it wins Eclipse. I got my Dio's back, so he's not going to use Dio's. That's very nice. Ma's allowed to make a mistake. Getting Dio's back is very good. That is nothing for me. Again, he's just healing all my damage off with medkits, so until I steal those back, we're kind of just staring at each other. Oh, he put a sticky bomb on me. That's right, he has all my clovers too. I should be really careful. Because if he hits me with um, my helming missiles, I'm kind of fucked. Not to mention he can crit. None of the guys I'm getting back are really helping me right now. That one does. That one helps a lot. It prevents him from using it against me. That's the main thing. I could really use my medkits back so he actually starts dying. Alien heads. I can be more aggressive on him. I have more. I have faster cooldowns now. So I have like more ranged attacks at my disposal, even though I just missed that one.
I can't see you. I can't look directly down in this game, so this is a little bit more difficult. If I could look directly down, I just hit him every time. But my aiming is very strange. Got my bands back off of that. Ooh, got my glasses back. I can start critting again. I don't have my clovers yet, so my crit chance isn't that absurd. That being said, I just hit all the crit. There's my clovers I was talking about, and there's those orbs I was talking about earlier. If I'm playing on the ground, that kills me. I either get lucky or unlucky. If I get lucky, um, it's it doesn't even feel like they're there. If I get unlucky, I just die immediately. Those things come out so fast, and their movement is so sporadic, that it's just better to do this. I still haven't got my medkits back, so he's still healing like all of my damage. I missed that. Get my boss damage back, so I'm doing a fuck ton more damage to him. At least I think these things work against Mythric, that's why I've been picking him up. Should probably get some confirmation on that at some point. Looks like that's the fight. Medikits were the last thing I get back. Okay. After I've gotten used to this fight, it's become much more methodical. But that being said, it's still not easy. It's still a hard fight, even though I'm like being super methodical about it and breaking it down and not really giving him a chance to fight me. It's still very difficult with all that in mind. Like I think I played that phenomenally well, even though if I even though I played it super boringly, I think I still played that super well. Like there wasn't that many mistakes there. The escaping part's pretty easy because all of their attacks are really easy to dodge. Like, this slow isn't doing anything. You've already seen that the tanks can't hit me. The flyers can be a little annoying because their bullets are really fast and their bombs are homing. But I'm hoping I can just run past them before they get too many attacks off. I don't really care about the Void Reavers. They're pretty scary when you're um, running levels but they're, they don't really do much here because I don't have to fight them. I can just ignore them happily and move on. So I'm just going to ignore these guys happily and just, you know, do my thing. Let them do theirs, I'll do mine. Just going to, you know, jump over here, no big deal. Dodge all these attacks. Wow, that one was actually hard to dodge. And yeah, pretty easy win after that. Um, that's a pretty good showing of how you're supposed to fight the King of Nothing. Like, I'm sure that's not how the, um, the devs intended it to be fought. But that's the most effective way to fight him, at least that I've found. Okay, I, when I got the double clovers, I thought this was going to be a win. I wasn't too sold on it because I had like nothing that clovers worked with. But having triple chances on your percent chances is very powerful. So, easy win, easy dubs. As always, 20 minute boss fight, that's about standard as far as like the characters I play, Acrid and uh, Merc go. 
They're both like the melee unit, so you can't really put that much damage on the boss. You really have to wait it out. But this shows that you can fight the King of Nothing even as a melee character. Uh, even though he like hard punishes everything melee, you can um, beat out the King of Nothing as a melee character. I love this ending quote, by the way. Peep the ending quote. It's my second favorite behind Akrid. And so he left with terrible power and shaking hands. So good, dude. So good. I mean, it's kind of edge lordy. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, the, the Merc is edge lordy himself. Don't get me wrong. But it's still so good. Like, it, including the edge lord factor, it's still like the second best. Although I have to say, I I am a big fan of. Akrits. Akrits is uh, with delusions of freedom. And that's just so cool seeing how he's like a, a, a interstellar extra planar frozen in time prisoner. He Akrits badass, okay? This guy has been through some shit. Um, But yeah, Merc. Merc is really cool too. I wonder. I need to read up on Merc's story. I I have. I wonder if they even have a story for the Merc. I know they don't have all the stories for the characters released yet. God, this game is so good for a game that was made by three fucking people. I, there's three developers. They of course hired artists and um, composers and all this other stuff. But this game is so fucking good. All right, everyone, that's Eclipse 2. Thanks for watching. If you're not already, catch me live on Twitch. I also got a Discord that you can find at my Twitch. If you're looking for my Twitch, check the description below. Um, I stream very irregularly, but if you catch me, it's a good time. Um, until then, I will catch you guys next time. Peace.